Police officers should always behave responsibly. But what happens when legal trouble results in a multi-million dollar lawsuit? Be ashamed of yourself. What did he do? He has not done anything. That's not true. I didn't even take my medication. Can I at least take my medication first? Okay. I was able to confirm your ID at the jail. Um, it's, you're not the person he was looking for. Here are two insane examples of police officers getting sued for enormous amounts of money. Starting off, we have Tony and Gwyn and his girlfriend, who were simply shopping at a Walmart when an unfortunate mix-up occurred. A loss prevention officer wrongly identified Nguyen as someone with a trespass warning, which resulted in his arrest by Deputy Michael McNeely. It was a classic case of mistaken identity, and it shows us how an arrest can occur without the necessary verification, even when the individual involved has health issues. Take a look. Year? Yeah, you can't come back. That was like 10, 15 years There's ago. No what are you that. talking about? There's no limit on that. When we are grocery shopping. What are you talking about? You're trespassing this way. You're not allowed to be here, aren't It's said 10, 15 go. years ago. No. Let's go. Where are you taking him? What the? Yeah. Where are you taking well, him? Wants to trespass as well, so let's go. For what? For grocery oh, shopping? That, that guy right no, there. for no. being trespassed. For that grocery guy, shopping? Hey, look, record him right there. Look, record him too. That fat guy. That fat guy what was is going on? See a cop too. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where are you taking him? Where are you taking him? It's all right. No, it's not. Where? Oh my God. I cannot believe you're doing this. Why, why are you Where are you me, taking I'm him? Why are you pulling me, sir? Where are you taking him? Why are you pulling me? You don't have to pull me. You know I'm disabled, right? I have back issues. You don't have to pull me, sir. You don't Let have go with him. I'm walking with you. You don't have to Let go with him. I'm letting you know right now I have back issues. All right. Oh my no, God. This is disgusting. Sorry, you feel that. Sorry, I feel that way. No, that's a fact. You should be ashamed of yourself. What did he do? He has not done anything. That's not true. I didn't even take my medication. Can I at least take my medication first? I have blood pressure medication. I have high blood pressure medication. I'm all It's in my juice. I get you. Well, when you're trespass, you can't come back. No, they told me in court it was only a year. All right. We'll get all that sorted out. All right. That's true. I'll let you go. Okay. That's fine. All right. Come on. Are, are you good to take his items for him? Hold on to them. The incident began with an accusation of trespassing, defined by Florida Statute 810.08 as unauthorized entry or remaining in a structure. Deputy McNeely arrested Nguyen, suspecting he had a trespass warning, but it was later revealed that Nguyen's most recent warning dated back to 2013. Florida typically issues permanent trespass warnings unless specified otherwise. Nguyen argued that his trespass warning had already expired, citing his trouble-free shopping experiences at the Walmart Supercenter, where he even held a Walmart credit card and Walmart Plus subscription. In a significant oversight, the deputy failed to verify Nguyen's identity through proper ID checks and instead relied on information from Walmart staff, leading to an unfortunate case of mistaken identity and an unjust arrest. You guys should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. We are literally trying to grocery shop and Christmas shop. It's disgusting. Shameful. Shame on you. Yep. Ma'am, what's your name? I understand. I spend a lot of money here. If you have a house and you don't want someone at your house, for whatever reason in Florida, you can have them trespass. It's the same for Walmart. 
He's asking that you be trespassed. I'm giving I you a warning. Have, I understand, it but I, I would like you, a reason. You, can, you don't have to have a reason. To really? Them. I think that's, that's crazy. Yeah. It is. It's the same reason you can have someone trespass from your house for no reason. Yeah, but that's your residential. So I'm I mean, giving, this is your I warning. Understand. Okay. I'm just discussing it. So the reason why he's going to jail tonight is because he's been warned in the past. It, there's no time limit on it. You're taking I'm going him to, to jail? Yes, it's called trespass after warning. He gave him a warning in the past when? and he's back. I'm going to go double check that so I don't have an exact date. Right now, he's being detained. He's not under arrest because I have a crime at hand. I'm going to see if the crime, if I have probable cause for the crime. Okay? A crime? I mean, that's Trespass such a strong a crime. word. Oh my god. Well, it, it's a misdemeanor. It's, it's not a big crime. But you're taking crime. him to jail? I'm going to verify that before I do. He's being detained right now, okay? So I need you to leave. You're being trespassed, okay? So the trespass has been confirmed. He has been trespassed here, actually, this year. So he will not be in here he's gonna be going to jail tonight he will have a bond you'll be able to bond him out okay does that understand you understand that you have all his items all right. this is horrible we are in it we just came from the springs we are in this jeep with a boat and a trailer i got you but regardless once does you trespass from somewhere that? i'll explain to him on the way that i just explained to him is there anything that you need from me all right i need you to get in the car and drive away because if you come back here you're going to also be going to jail for trespass okay <gasps> This is disgusting. I'm sorry you feel that way. I love you. I'll call Brittany. Can I speak to him? It's up to him. Let me call Mike. Can Brittany. I at least get my phone and take my medication first, sir? Because I'm going to... You can't take any medications before going to the detention center. Whatever you need, they can get you there. They have doctors and stuff there. I lear I'm, think I'm literally going to go on a seizure. Baby, I'm telling baby. you. Right. If you go into seizure, let me know. I'll have EMS come out. Can I have my phone? Oh, yeah. And call Mike. Well, you That's fine. you can take your phone if you want. You can't use it. No, you can I'm take not. it. Yeah, I just need it for phone numbers, yeah. Yeah. They'll let, they'll let you get numbers yeah, out of it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Can we give them your ID? It's just that you yeah, know. That's fine, whatever. That's nice. Do you want her to drive it away? Because she's also trespassed from here. She can't hang out here. I'm going. I can drive it. Sure. I'm just going to go to Mike's house. Yeah. I'm going to call them. Just drive into the next parking lot or something and then, have, and then pull over and then have Mike come get it. That's fine. That's fine. Right, she... That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. As long as she leaves Walmart property. This arrest was a result of mistaken identity, leading to potential charges of false arrest or false imprisonment, depending on state laws. Police officers often have immunity in such cases, making it challenging for Nguyen to sue Deputy McNeely. However, he may consider a lawsuit against Walmart and its staff for false imprisonment supported by U.S. Supreme Court rulings that hold individuals responsible for providing misleading information to the police, resulting in an arrest and contributing to wrongful detention. In a 911 call, Pettigrew reported an Asian male named Cody Vodeland as a trespasser who might have a propensity for violence and could be carrying weapons. Let's listen to the conversation. Hi, my name is David Pettigrew. I'm calling from U.S. Uh, 41, or not 41, sorry, U.S. 19. Okay, give me one moment. Yeah. Okay, what's your phone number you're calling from? 631-255-0220. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. There's an Asian male in the store right now. His name is Cody Vonderlin. He is trespassed from the store. He is not allowed to be here, and he also tends to be violent and carries weapons. The incident involved an employee assisting Deputy McNeely in locating Nguyen, who was wrongly identified, suggesting racial profiling, and the deputy admitted to the wrongful arrest only after checking Nguyen's ID at the jail. I was able to confirm your ID at the jail. Um, it's, you're not the person he was looking for. You have not been trespassed. And so I'm taking you back to your house. And for me personally, I apologize. Sometimes identities get mixed up. Deputy McNeely first thought about taking Nguyen home, but then he pulled over and spent 40 minutes on the roadside. During that time, he checked Nguyen's record and discovered an expired trespass warning from 2013, which he used to justify Nguyen's arrest. The Hernando County Sheriff's Office backed this decision by asserting that the warning was still valid. In response to this incident, Nguyen's attorney filed a $10 million lawsuit against Walmart David Pettigrew, and Michael McNeely, and the lawsuit is currently in progress. Next up, we have Patrick Royal, who was stopped by two Jersey Village Police Department officers who claimed his taillight was broken, but he argued and showed it was working. 
When he requested to speak with their supervisor and went back to his car, tensions escalated as one officer threatened to use pepper spray if he didn't get out of the vehicle, resulting in the incident being recorded on video. Take a look. On December 22nd, Patrick Royal was stopped by a Jersey Village police officer who said Royal had a faulty brake light. The man who was driving home for his lunch break says the way officers conducted the stop was unnecessary. You can see one officer's body cam footage here. After asking Royal to step out of the car a few times, he pulls out his pepper spray. Well, then undo your seatbelt and step out. Okay. In Texas, driving with a broken headlight or taillight can lead to fines. Patrick Royal was initially stopped by Jersey Village Police for a broken taillight, but he proved it was working. However, things escalated when he asked to speak with their supervisor, leading to a ticket for a different violation that confirmed his taillight was fine. The officers prolonged the stop without a valid reason, violating Royal's rights, and a misunderstanding over his falling phone led to one officer threatening him. Dashcam video, Royal gets out of the car and places his cell phone on the hood. As the second officer is behind Royal, that's when a scuffle starts, and the first officer is seen pointing his weapon at Royal's head. I'm kill you! Oh my god! You stupid f come back over here. Feel. Get on the ground. Police say additional video shows the man attempted to reach back into the vehicle at the time. But Royal is heard on camera saying that his phone was falling from the hood of the car, which you can also see happening. Hand on your head. My phone fell. Oh, my the video illustrates how certain officers can become anxious during traffic stops, potentially misinterpreting sudden movements as threats. This underscores the need for caution when interacting with police to prevent misunderstandings. In this case, an unwarranted search, an extended detainment, and a dubious charge led community activists to call for the officer's dismissal, criminal charges, and the reconsideration of qualified immunity for law enforcement. This is why you need to do away with qualified immunity. This is why you need to have in place when an officer see another officer that's on duty with them doing something out of pocket, they need to do something and say something. Activists are standing with Royal for action in this incident, which police say is under review. This young man is maybe 120 pounds soaking wet, but when you watch the conduct of these deputies, you will see they had it in their heart to kill this young man if he made one simple move that they could justify taking his life. Qualified immunity is a legal principle that protects government officials from being sued for rights violations unless they clearly violated established laws. This means that even if the officers in the video had fatally shot Royal, they might not face criminal charges if they argued they believed he was reaching for a weapon. Legal precedent, as seen in cases like Dominic Rollis's, has frequently shielded law enforcement officers from civil lawsuits, using qualified immunity as a defense. Currently, the lawsuit stemming from the incident in the video is unresolved.